ellipse 2. What I've done here is I've drawn a semicircle with the compass and I've constructed a rectangle about that semicircle. I've divided this section of the rectangle into three equal parts and I've divided this center line into three equal parts. I've joined from the top point here to the first point and I've drawn from the bottom point here through the first point here and that gets me a point on the circle. In fact, that's a 90 degree angle. That's the angle in a semicircle. I've repeated the same process with the red line, drawn through the second point and drawn through the second point here. And again, where the two lines meet, that's the angle in a semicircle, 90 degrees. If I tilt this up at an angle, the circle becomes an ellipse. The distance from here to here has shortened. It was that length. It's shortened when we lift it up. And these lines here are the lines we're going to draw on this question over here. What I've done here is I've divided this line into three. I'm going to draw from the top point down through each of those points. And we're going to draw in from the bottom point up through those points. And that will get that first quarter of the ellipse. To do that, join through point number one. And the same here through point number one and that gets us one point on the curve. Now through the second point I'm using the red pen here as before and through the second point on the end here to the top point and that's another point on the curve. Now a freehand curve through those points that gets us quarter of the ellipse complete. To do the other quarter now, we do the opposite way around. So from the top point, we draw through these middle points. And the same point number one. And now from the bottom point, draw through the end ones here. That gets us the points on the curve. Freehand curve through those. Now to complete the ellipse, we'll run through the same procedure again. I'm going to draw all the lines from this bottom point when I'm working from this end. And then I'll go up to the top and draw the lines from up here. And that's the points on the curve. Now a freehand curve through those points. And line in your drawing. And that's your ellipse to complete.